four checker. There's the second one. He dances around as well. Passes it off. Left wing side. Lots of speed on Lucas Sillinger. Backhander is stopped there by Armitage. Was Cassidy Bowes flying down the left wing side as he made a play similar to Peter Muzika on the first pier. Just blew down the left wing boards. Pulled it to his backhand in front of the net. But Armitage again there to make the Boss save. The ice knocked away, but Cilia has got it again. Down the right wing boards into the circle. Cilia centering feed comes up high slot. Miller a slap shot. Put it just wide of the goal. Rebound off the end. Wall and L can't jam it in. Good pressure by Penticton. Miller's got it again. Right point. Miller walks the line. Passes off. Right wing side for Massimo Rizzo. Rizzo now walks the line. Switches off. Miller a one-timer. and Just missed the net. Armitage went down to one knee, but just missed it on the blocker side. V's to the blue line again. Rizzo down the middle. Wrist shot. Maybe hit the post behind the goaltender. Armitage, who didn't even react. He never saw the shot come. One minute. And Mason Snell at center. Leaves it for Gantus, who will skate into the salmon arm zone. Gantus, left side, centering feed is knocked out of midair by Linnell, and the goaltender Armitage still made the save. 1.50 to go in the first period. Puck on the Penticton blue line. Lagerstrom sends it ahead for Barnes, who pokes it into the silverback zone. Barnes looking to steal out of midair, stopped by Armitage again, and then Barnes got hammered down right at the side of the net. These will steal the puck and work it in deep. Barnes on the four check as the puck is cleared around the wall. Linnell is there. His way through center. Over the salmon arm line, Rizzo then tripped up. Penalty coming up against the Silverbacks, and this will be a lengthy five-on-three power play for Penticton. 50 seconds of five-on-three time for the Vs. Rizzo was tripped up as he skated into the salmon arm zone. James Miller will race through center ice, gain the salmon arm line, stop up, sends it down the wall. Cylinder to the goal, stops up, tries a wraparound, loose at the side of the net. Cilia recovers, throws it to the blue line. It took a hop on James Miller and goes down the ice, and that may do it for the five on three. So a couple of tough breaks for Penticton. Cassidy Bowes in for the face off on the glove hand side of Armitage. He'll line up against Justin Wilson. Another scramble, draw Bowes is knocked down, puck to the high slot, Gontus left it behind, penalty coming up against Salmon Arm again, it's going to be cross-checking and Snell just wants the five on three, so he gives the puck to Wilson, and he's going to get the penalty, Bowes fell down off the faceoff and Wilson just gave him a two-hander right across the back, so an easy call for the officials. The second five on three power play of the period for Penticton, but around the boards, Sillinger lets it go up to the blue line for Cassidy Bowes. V's are set up again. James Miller left circle to Bowes. One timer off the shoulder of the goaltender Armitage and somehow stayed out of the net. Eight seconds to go on the five on three. In deep once again by Saminar. Jack Lagerstrom clears it around. Held in right point by Nisi. His shot deflects off a glove towards the slot. Spinning shot, they score. Well, what was I just saying? Wyatt Marlowe gets his first career BC Hockey League goal and the Saminar Silverbacks have all the momentum right now as they've opened the scoring with 9.45 to go in the second period. These just can't take advantage. All these power plays, some good chances for sure, but too many chances. The puck has been cleared out of the zone. Pass is intercepted. These can't score, and Salmon Arm comes right back, and they score even strength. Wyatt Marlowe, the 16-year-old rookie, gets his first career BC Hockey League goal, and the Silverbacks have opened the scoring. And out to center ice. 6.20 to go in the second. Kazabud back into the Salmon Arm zone, into the middle, Gontus curl and drag, he scores! What a move by Andre Gantus. His eighth goal of the season ties the game at one. 6-16 to go in the second period. Well, the pressure was mounting for Penticton. Too many good chances not to score. And finally, Andre Gantus puts one into the top corner over the glove of Matthew Armitage. A gorgeous curl and drag move in the slot around the defender and into the corner has tied the game at one for Penticton. James Miller takes the return fee behind his net, turned it over, and LaFontaine came up with a huge save as Miller just couldn't quite take that pass, and now we've got a huge scrum right in front of the Penticton net as well. These went D to D below the goal line, and it looked like it went off the toe of Miller's stick, came out to the side of the goal, Silverback centered in a backhand shot, I think by Jonathan Cron was turned aside by LaFontaine. Silverbacks thought they saw a loose puck, so they converged to the front of the net. And these fans won't be happy about this. 
Looks like Kozabud's the only one getting a penalty out of that scrum. Over the salmon arm line, cuts towards the left wing circle, now circles back to the blue line. Shepard across, right point. Miller a one-timer, stopped by Armitage, and he has to dive out and cover the rebound as the puck appeared to get caught up on his pad a little bit. And he stretched out to make the save and then dove on top of the puck. Another faceoff coming up in the Salmon Arm zone. He's over the Salmon Arm line. Gontus, hook feet to the high slot. Kazabud, slap shot, high save, rebound loose, and Armitage puts his glove down to hold on. A heavy slap shot from Carson Kazabud. Goaltender Armitage couldn't quite handle it, but the rebound dropped down right in front of him, so he was able to put his glove down and hold Last on. Second to deflect it away into the left circle. Wrist shot by Sillinger, loose at the side of the goal. Cilia wrap around, loose in the crease. Goaltender's down, bees are jamming. Where's the puck? It's underneath the goaltender Armitage. Has a mad scramble in the salmon arm crease. Uh, V's player being headlocked by three different salmon arm players after that scramble. Kazabud now knocks his man down to the ice and we'll see what they take out of the pile here. Luke Lohite is already going to the penalty box. And you wonder if anything else will come of that as Lohite was jamming away at the puck under the goaltender Armitage after a backhanded wraparound by David Cilia was stopped. Is off right side for Stevens over the Penticton line. Puck down low, LaFontaine cleared it right into the Salmon Arm player. And as he tried to go up the middle with the clearing attempt, but it hit the Salmon Arm player, and then he went barreling into LaFontaine. Play whistled down as LaFontaine lost his helmet behind the net as well. So that was a dangerous situation there for Penticton. You understand what LaFontaine's trying to do, clear the puck down the ice, because he did have a little bit of room. But Stevens slides it ahead, right side, Salmon Arm into the zone, left wing circle, Unruh on goal, and they score! A tic-tac-toe passing play. Hudson Shandor gets his stick on it and redirects it into the back of the net. 4.38 to go in regulation, and the Silverbacks have taken a 2-1 lead. Seconds to go. Sillinger down the middle, passes off Cilia. Wrist shot over top of the net. What a chance again for Penticton. Shepard around behind the goal. David Cilia, he was knocked down but recovers the puck, tries to hook it in front. Silverbacks will find it. They skate two on two through center with the empty net and they'll score from center ice. And that will do it here tonight as Salmon Arm hits the empty net with six seconds to go. And the V's, despite firing 38 shots in on Matthew Armitage, cannot find the equalizer. And they will lose this game by a score of three to one.